What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Alpha Male. Let's get straight into it. We're going to singles mixer night. And this as a pair. As a pair. <laughs> and these are our predictions. These girls look like somebody from the Wild Thornberries. Shots fired! Shots fired! You ever seen that show? That wild, 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 wild. You've seen it. Someone is going to make a pickup line about the Canadian wildfire. Yeah! Hey, girl. Is you a Canadian wildfire? Because you take my breath away. <laughs> That about five to ten guys are going to ask for Snapchat. But the dress looks like a tablecloth. Instagram. I predict that someone's going to ask us if we're sisters because they don't have a better pickup line, even though we look nothing alike. I predict that at least two guys are going to pretend that they're Swifties, but then they're going to say that their favorite song is Love Story, so then I'll just know that they're doing it just because they think I'm cute. How dare they? <laughs> Yikes. I'm going to a singles event tomorrow night, and I'm nervous. Her dad must own a bowling alley. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Come on. Tomorrow night, and I'm nervous. I think people meet at meetups more often than people meet at singles events because of the way the thing is structured. Hi, I'm 23, and I've never had a boyfriend. Yikes. Okay, I turned 40 this year, and I've never been in love. I've never been in a relationship. Well. Yikes. She looked okay for 40. I would love if we could be honest and rebrand singles events as the truth, which is a perfect place to meet your brand new platonic best friend. Men don't go to these. Facts. Men do not go to singles events. We don't. Stop paying money to go to singles events. Men don't go. Stop it. So I have to cancel. You know what? Wait, let me let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Should I go to a singles event just to see how bad it is? Let me know. Singles event that I planned to be on my farm this weekend. Y'all know I'm an event planner and I have a fish farm and I advertised a fishing for love event mm -mm. where singles could come here and fish and have dinner and meet each other in person, not on a dating app. And five women RSVP'd yes and one man. And even the one you man- You marketed it incorrectly. You should have marketed it as catch or keep what you catch. If you, if you did a keep what you catch fish for free for an hour, tons of men would have came out in droves and women could have just been there. Don't market it as fishing for love. Men don't go to fish to find love. They go to fish to catch fish and eat them. Keep what you catch is what you should have marketed it as. I did RSVP, did it through one of the ladies. Now I did all of my marketing specifically towards men because I knew that the women would RSVP. I promoted the event on 45 different Facebook groups specifically about hunting, fishing, camping, country. Bro, I could have marketed this event on two Facebook groups and had 20 guys show up. Keep what you catch. It's as simple as that. Stop trying to make it all about love. Men don't go hunting to talk to women. That's like our escape from women. Life and all local to my area. I know that my post reached over 12,000 people specific to the age group, the gender, and the interest that I just described. And yet, no man RSVP. It's bad marketing, that's why. Take Single events were once envisioned as vibrant gatherings where individuals could organically connect and potentially find their romantic partners in real time. These occasions were designed to facilitate meaningful interactions, fostering an environment where men and women could engage in genuine conversations and enjoy each other's company. Mm. However, in recent times, the landscape of these events has undergone a notable shift, leaving many disenchanted with the experience. You believe it. If you want to attend our first singles event, here are the details. Our first event will be a week from today, February 8th, and it starts at 7 p.m. If you'd like to attend, download the Thursday app. You can get a ticket, RSVP through there. You don't actually have to match with anybody on the app in order to show up. Come alone, bring a friend, whatever feels good for you. Just come and be prepared to be social. What was that? Come and be prepared to be social. Oh my god, her arms are bigger than mine! <laughs> Can you imagine sitting across from that? <laughs> so, what do you want, Trin? Trin Balone, steroids, how many grams of how many milligrams of test are you on? Good lord. Would have never shown up to that. Jesus. Ladies, we are not attracted to that. <laughs> the more and more dates I go on with people. Uh oh, here we go. I realize how comfortable I am being single. I do not need a man. 
It's a wand. And I don't even know if I want one anymore. I love it. But you're here on TikTok complaining about it. If you don't, here's the thing. I don't get on TikTok and complain about things I don't need. I don't need a spaceship, but you don't hear me on TikTok crying about it. <laughs> like your logic doesn't make sense. If you're talking about something you don't need, you it sounds like you need it. And honey, if you're online complaining about men, it sounds like you want a man. You just can't procure one. Are not obsessed with women like they used to be. Y'all don't find that kind of weird. And to be honest, no, I don't find that kind of weird because what exactly is there for men to be obsessed with in today's world? Facts. Women have left no room for imagination, none whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It's like your sense of entitlement is out of control. Facts. Your expectations are unrealistic. Y'all walk around showing your bodies half dressed, half exposed 24 7, out smoking, drinking, partying 24 7, mm -hmm. on the scene 24 7. A lot of y'all are not even coming with nothing to the table because you're too busy with your hand out trying to see what man got the next bag so he can sponsor your lifestyle to make you look like you're living a lifestyle to post on the internet. Preach. It's like a lot of y'all don't have common sense. A lot a lot of y'all don't know how to hold a conversation. A lot of y'all don't have no originality about yourselves. Everybody is getting the same body. Everybody is getting the same hairstyle. Everybody looks the exact same. And it's like, y'all get that confused. Oh, well, men like that. No, men will fuck that. But men are not wiping that and they're not cuffing that. And I think y'all are starting to realize that. And then the first thing y'all want to say is, oh, well, they're gay. They're sassy. No, they're not. They're just tired of what you guys are presenting. And if y'all are here to give them free pussy, free looks, and free everything they ain't got to work for, uh, why would they? But they're Facts. never going to take you serious. So it seems to me like a lot of y'all are now starting to realize that you're either losing value or have lost value from chasing attention. And now that's something that y'all got to deal with and y'all can't face that fact. Men love women that are exclusive. Mm -hmm. Women that are put up. Women that every man can't say he had. It's Facts. Well, here's the thing. Like... Back in the day, the way to a man's heart was through his stomach. If you could cook him a good meal, make him feel good, have him lay on the couch, rub his head. But, oh, ladies, that's it right there. That is it. Like, let me know in the comments. Would you rather uh, uh, hit it on the first date or would you rather go over to a girl's house and she cooks you a good meal? She allows you to lay on the couch. She rubs your hair, massages your shoulders, massages your feet. Personally, I'd rather have the meal and the massage because I know if that's good, the coochie's probably Fuegos Rancheros. I'm just saying. Let me know in the comments. What would you rather have? Would you rather smash on the first date, or would you rather have a girl cook you a good meal and give you a massage? Personally, I'm going the good meal and the massage because I know if you can do that, more than likely you can do the rest pretty good. Unfortunately, a concerning trend has emerged wherein the essence of these gatherings has been distorted by a series of dynamics that have deterred men from participating. One of the primary concerns revolves around the perceived imbalance in the interactions between men and women. Rather than fostering an atmosphere of mutual exploration and understanding, some women have been accused of monopolizing the conversation, turning these events into platforms for self-promotion and self-congratulation. I believe it. In the days, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. It might be on the first date, it might be the third date, whatever. It right. could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they're waiting, it's the third date, fourth date, mm -hmm. a week later, he hasn't gone in for the kiss, he doesn't do any touching or anything, and I've asked my dude friends that are single, right. and they are like, you don't know where a woman's gonna go with that story anymore, I ain't touching nobody. Max. And it's kind of, it sucks, because the Me Too movement is so strong and so, so powerful for the people that need it, but it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationships. But it has. <laughs> <laughs> It's so true. Though. To be honest, the whole thing is, you guys created that movement, and we're just following suit. Either just be a little lonelier than deal with all the hassle of dating. I'm really not in a place emotionally and financially where I can deal with sorting through a bunch of misses to find a missus. Nowadays with dating apps, there's always something new and more exciting just around the corner. So many women I've dated have abruptly broken things off because they found something more exciting. Dating is like taking on a part-time job. I don't have the time or the energy. I'm sure all of you can relate can to that. that. Social media, Hollywood, and porn have really altered the expectations of the general public across the board when looking for a mate. It's actually really messed up psychologically when a person thinks about it. Specifically, unrealistic expectations are held by people who conveniently hold themselves to extremely low standards but feel entitled to the best. More specifically, unrealistic expectations are held by people who act like victims when they're confronted with equally high expectations. She got a point. Many modern women 
society are rewarding bad behavior. Rewarded by society for their bad behavior. Okay, Act like entitled selfish princesses mm. are high maintenance but low reward, lack any sense of accountability. Yes. And a lot are feminists, but not feminine. The worst part is- Feminism makes women masculine. That's my hot take. Do you guys agree with that? Do you think feminism makes women masculine? What's so funny to me is that feminism has turned women into the men that they hate. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> now you're short haired, you're going to the gym, you got armpit hair, you smell musty, you're growing out your stash. <laughs> Feminism really did make y'all into us. If y'all hate y'all so much, if you hate us so much, why are you trying to be us? Why are you trying to be manly now? They're all delusional about their true relationship market value. Of course, the real true keepers out there, they're hard to find, rare, and even harder to get. There's a lot of competition for them. It's no wonder men are choosing to stay single, but is staying single the best option for you? Because well, here's the thing. Ladies, if he's good enough for you, he's good enough for a few. I'm telling you, life is, and then also life is a mirror, not a window, bro. Instead of engaging in meaningful dialogue and fostering connections, these gatherings have devolved into arenas where women flaunt their achievements and revel in self-adulation. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan & Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. The more and more in me their men are choosing to stay their experiences. I can't next clip. one single positive argument or staying single today we're having a cigar the other day with this guy when we did the live podcast he's 35 years old makes millions but he doesn't want to get married so it's just too risky getting married today I said, it's too risky getting married today I said, Man, it's too risky staying single today like what do you think life is all about pulling up to a restaurant in a Rolls voice for what who cares those people that say what a nice car don't give a shit about you everything about life is investing in things that outlive you man wants to live forever yeah. but we're not going to mm -hmm. the only way you're going to get a glimpse of living forever is by what you build you have kids you raise them properly they continue your last name, you write a book, you make music, you make movies, you make something that outlives you. True. All of this is true. Well said. Well said, soldier. Well, and, and most men want to have some sort of legacy. And I, I, I know you guys are sometimes like, you know, MGTOW, which I respect it. If you thrive alone and you don't need to have a partner, cool. But I just think we're better together and together we're better. I think I've made it to this point in my life off relationships and having people around me. And I believe a fulfilling life is what you make it in, in a certain regard. But for me, it's all about building meaningful relationships. You build a meaningful relationship with someone, it's worth its weight in gold. When you get enough lonely single men in their young ages of like 20 to 30, right, with no family, no kids, nothing to die for, to stand for, you're going to have public tragedies keep happening. Soon they'll start targeting higher ups in government because, you know, once the greed sets in from those at the top and they take more and more and more and you're left with nothing, then you'll really see the, quote, revolt everybody talks about. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got a point. He does have a point. As a result of these concerning developments. Like it gets to a point where people are like, I'm fed up. I'm going to I'm going to do something drastic here to get some attention in some way, um, especially with all the crazy things happening in today's climate. Like, oof, it's nutty. Hey, girl, what's up? Hey, girl, not the much. What's up with you? Girl, I'm chilling. What's going on with you? I heard about your last online dating experience. Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girl. Mm -mm -mm. Crazy. Yeah. I think I'm done with these date naps. Mm, I feel you. Well, I actually have an event for you to go to tonight. For real? Mm -hmm. Where is it? It's going to be at my church. Uh -uh. What? Not girl, why? It's no. going to be a lot of single dudes there. Lies. Uh, 
I am not lying. I'm for real. No, I ain't messing with you because the last time you invited me to your church's singles event, it was all women there. Uh-uh. Girl, uh, might as well have been a ladies' night or something. We had a good time the last time, remember? What I remember was that we spent half the time praying for husbands when the uh -uh. husband should have been there that night at the event. No. You're I'm being dramatic. Here. It was a few dudes there. It was three guys there, and two of them were there with their girlfriend. And then the other one was there with his wife. <laughs> I was single. It there. wasn't that bad. I'm telling you, it's going to hit tonight. Hey, it'd be like that though. Several well, disgruntled men are going to these things. Let me know in the comments. Have any of you guys actually been to one of these things? Have any of you guys been to a singles event? Personally, I never have. I, I feel like I should just for a social experiment, just to see what the actual H E double hockey sticks is going on. But I feel like men just don't go to these. Single events where singles go to meet other people are the worst because that's pretty much just the leftovers and the completely hopeless people that have zero values and zero <laughs> standards, you know? <laughs> they just go there in hope that they find someone that they can date. You know, single groups, single Facebook groups, single markets, dating apps, like mm. all of the things are where the singles with no standards go to and never get anything. That's the worst place to meet high quality women. I, you know, I would agree with that. I would agree and with that's that why take. I do not go to those mixers anymore. When you go, it ends up being nothing but women. And to those men that like to say you can't find women, you can't approach women, you know, they're there at these mixers. It's a beautiful, successful women who are making a conscious effort to put themselves out there to meet nah, I someone. bet it's a bunch of... I bet it's a bunch of single moms that go to these. And before you start or, hating on or it... Or it's probably... Big, bag, big. It's probably one of those. It's a bunch of women that can't find nobody. And... <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that can't find anybody. Young, old, black, white, rich, poor. These women are actively putting in the work to make themselves available. That's right. Guys, you really don't even have to spend money at these events. Fellas, start signing up for these events. Start going to these events. I like these events because it makes it easy to approach someone and it makes it easy for someone to approach you. Classic stuff. I'm putting this out there because I want to start going to them again. Just sign up for them. Just sign up someone and it makes it easy for someone to approach you here's the thing with these events man even when men approach these women these women are the leftover misfit toys you guys ever seen that one christmas movie the stop animation one the land of the misfit toys that's what you ladies are there's a reason you're single Ladies, from the ages of 18 to 24 is the best years you can use to procure a man. If you're not going to use those years afterwards, it's not our fault that you're alone. <laughs> it's not our fault. It's really not. So the thing is, these guys may go to these events. They may approach these women. But the thing is, these women aren't approachable. There's two different, completely different delineations there. Men will approach, but you're not approachable. A man will approach you and you think, oh, I'm too good for him. You're stuck up. You're narcissistic. You're entitled. So you think even the guys that are approaching you, you're better than them. This is why you're single in the first place. You're leftovers. No other guy wants you. This is why you got to go to these single events. All these single events are just the land of misfit toys. And then us men have to go through and pick the scraps. Well, we're done picking scraps. Us as men know our value now. If we're out there making enough money to, to fund our own lifestyle, why would I want to pick up another bill? Most of you ladies can't cook. You can't clean. You don't know how to empower a man. You don't know how to make a man move in a certain way. Like a lot of these ladies don't even know how to talk to a man to empower him. Because there's a lot of power in that. Most women, when they talk to guys, they're just disrespectful. Because they get to act like children. Women want the equality of men. They want the accountability of children. And they want the privilege of women. It's as simple as that. So you want us to come in and be respectful to you, but you can be disrespectful to us? Um, I'm good. Like, girls these days are straight up disrespectful. With men, Jordan Peterson talks about this, with men we understand that there's a certain level of violence that could happen if the disrespect gets to a certain point. With ladies, y'all think that y'all are good. But the Gen Z kids, they're coming out and them hands are rated E for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, equal rights, equal lefts. I be seeing these Gen Z kids straight put hands on girls. I'm like, golly. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You would never see that. Like, I see people straight up. <laughs> You would never see that at my age. As a millennial, bro, you knew to never hit a girl. I, I remember one time being at a restaurant, and this dude that was dating this chick at the time who I went to high school with, he raised his voice at this girl. This other country boy gets up and he goes, boy, you talk to her like that again. You, 
you talk to her like that again and I'll fold you like a pretzel, boy. And I was like, oh my God. These days, somebody would just see it and be like, oh, snap. Just like they would watch you get beat up. It's crazy. Times are just different now, though. Times are completely different. But this is why you ladies are undateable. It's the land of the misfit toys. Everybody come get a ride. <laughs> Stupid. But that's why we don't approach you guys. You're entitled, narcissistic. You're full of yourself. You have an over inflated sense of self. Ladies, the older you get, the lower your value gets. As men, the older we get, we age like wine. You guys age like milk left out in the desert. It does it, it curdles in about a couple days. It curdles <laughs> pretty quickly. <laughs> And we don't want curdled milk. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Do you guys like curdled milk? When was the last time you drank some curdled milk? Did you get sick? It's exactly. And then, and especially with the Me Too movement, anything a guy can say can be used against him. A girl can ruin a guy's career off of an accusation. An accusation. She can just go to the cops and say, he did this. And it's, it's guilty until proven innocent. You know, it'll, it'll defame you and ruin your career. Even if you get off scot-free, it happened to a football player. It happens to football players all the time. These guys get proven innocent, but still there's that like, Ugh, it's taboo. Like a girl accused you of that. Like, so we're just going to assume you're guilty. It's, you know, it's trial by fire. It really does suck. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook in the description. The four pillars of personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow. Loki, did you have a good time? He didn't get a carrot today because he is, as you can see, asleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.